Hello everybody, in this video today I'm going to show you how to easily set up a Wi-Fi range extender or repeater to be specific, the Cordy E300. Although all extenders differ a bit, the steps are fairly similar, even if you don't own the E300 by Cordy. Now let's get started. First off, I'd like to let you know that this product by Cordy has three modes, namely repeater, access point, as well as router mode. Today we'll only go through the repeater setup procedure to extend your Wi-Fi signal so you can enjoy wireless internet even in dead zones. Before starting, make sure the extender is set to factory default settings. If not, simply refer to the manual and reset it, usually with a small reset pin. Now plug in the extender into a power outlet located in the same room as you also have your Wi-Fi router, just for the initial setup procedure. Then turn on the extender by using the switch on the side. Wait a bit for the device to finish booting and after that you have two options to connect the extender to an existing Wi-Fi network. A very simple one by using WPS or a more standard method by using your web browser. The simpler and faster method might be WPS, however this only works if your router has a WPS button. Also WPS does not support WEP network security. On the extender itself, press and hold down the WPS button for like 2-3 to three seconds and do the same with your router's WPS button. Connecting can take up to 2 minutes. If the extender connects to your existing Wi-Fi network successfully, this Cordy E300 extender's network name will change to Cordy E300 EXT standing for extender and the Wi-Fi or WLAN LEDs will light up, indicating the signal strength. And that's it! To connect to the network, simply connect to the extender network with the same existing Wi-Fi password of your router. Method number 2. It's easy to, but probably takes a bit more time. Power on the extender, set it to repeater mode, and connect your computer, phone or tablet to the extender's network without any password the first time. Now open up a web browser and either type in 192.168.10.1 or ap.setup. This will lead you to a login screen. Type in admin in lowercase letters for both username and password fields and log in. Then click on repeater, wait for the extender to find your target router and once it detects it, select the router, either leave the extender's SSID the way it is or go for a custom name and last but not least, enter the same Wi-Fi password your target router has. And of course hit apply. Then wait for the extender to set everything up and reboot. Once it's done, you can connect to your extender's network with the same password you use on your router. The WLAN LEDs indicate the current signal strength between router and extender. One LED means bad signal, two stands for good and three obviously very good. It is recommended to place the extender about halfway between your router and the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal. The LED indicators are very useful for that purpose. And yes, that's pretty much it. All in all, it's a very easy setup procedure. If you had problems setting your Wi-Fi extender up, I hope this video could now help you out and get it up and running the way it should. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.